Hello, this is just a quick reference video for the technique of palm muting, specifically as it relates to um, playing power chords or power chord strumming. Uh, what I mean by that is I could play power chords that are basically your index and third finger kind of sliding around, creating your chords just with root and fifth. You know, versus playing open chords, open position chords like your E minor shape, your C, your G, your D, and so on and so forth. Um, the concept here is that uh, my right hand is able to hit just the first couple strings of every chord that I play, regardless of which type of chord shapes that I'm playing. So when I say power chord strumming, um, you know, for the trolls out there uh, that may see this video and be like, well, he's not playing power chords. Well, yeah, I'm not, but you can still apply this rhythmic concept to both types of chords, power chord or otherwise. So power chord strumming, in my case, is hitting the first two strings of whatever chord you're playing. So an E bass chord, you'll be hitting the E and the A strings. An A bass chord, the A and the D strings. And a D bass chord, the D and the G strings. So, as for the technique for power chord strumming, or I'm sorry, for palm muting, um, while you're playing these power chord strums, what I like to do is press my hand here on the saddles. Uh, and I'm actually pressing the karate chop part, the blade of the hand here, um, on the saddles. But then I roll my flesh onto the strings, be that, you know, the skin, fat muscle, whatever you have there. They roll onto the strings with just a tiny bit of pressure. I like to pinch my thumb and finger together as if I'm holding a pick, if I'm doing, you know, the finger style that I like to do. And I make sure that my index is at an angle that I'm hitting with my nail, not turned this way and hitting with the side of my finger. Now, obviously, you know, most people like to play with a pick, so you can uh, use whatever picking technique you prefer. Some people like to turn it this way, perpendicular to the thumb. Other people like to align it with the index finger. That's what I prefer if I am using a pick, just a little nub sticking out. But the same principle applies that my hand is at a uh, perpendicular angle to the guitar, not a parallel angle to the guitar strings. Here, so I'm muting and pressing, rolling on, and hitting the first two strings of my chord. That's an E chord, a C chord, a D chord. I'll go to a B7 chord this time. Um, now, some people may have ginormous hands and can mute across all the strings equally all the time. Um, but me, I have a small hand, and there's kind of a sweet spot for me that I feel mutes the strings best. And so depending on which two strings I'm focusing on, sometimes I have to shift my hand down or up. So that sweet spot hits right over the two appropriate strings that I need to be using for my chord. And then I slide down a little bit for the C. And then down a little bit more for the D. And then back up for the A string, whatever I'm playing. Okay. Now, Another thing that's really cool about palm muting is that you can get very creative and come up with all kinds of rhythmic patterns based on muting and not muting, or muting and hitting low strings and then high strings, or both unmuting and hitting higher strings at the same time. I'll demonstrate each of those. So muting and unmuting. On unmuting, I'm just lifting my palm off of the strings as I strum. And then come right back again. Okay? 
uh, hitting different strings or higher strings or more strings even, you know, while still muting. Right? If you're uh, pretty coordinated, you can get really precise with this and aim for certain strings. And then, of course, my favorite, uh, I actually like to combine the two, where I hit, uh, I unmute and hit higher or more strings at the same time. So you can really have a lot of fun with this and get very creative. Um, but the basic thing to bear in mind as you're practicing this concept, uh, this isn't an easy technique for a beginner to master right away. Uh, this will take a lot of consistent practice and uh, a lot of policing of your own sound. You have to listen to what you're doing and you know if you hear that there's too much mute you know, you, your, your chords have no tonality, it just sounds muffled. Well, the, the reason might be that perhaps your hand is too far onto the strings and needs to come back a bit. I like to practice, uh, keep my strum going while I make my adjustments so I can hear how off and on gradually affects the sound and you can find you know the perfect feel for it uh, through lots of repetition of course uh, it needs to be consistent you know that's, I always stress consistent practice on a daily basis especially for beginners who have not yet developed their muscle memory so you know don't get overwhelmed or discouraged if you can't make your palm mute technique sound good right away uh, you know, there are so many different things going on that the brain just can't process all at the same time. So we have to train it into our reflexes, into our muscle memory, so the brain doesn't have to work quite so hard. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. Um, you know, nothing special about this video. I just intended it to be a uh, quick reference material for you, uh, you know, for the beginners, if you're having some difficulty with this, if you need reminded of the basics of the technique. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, just leave them in the comments below, uh, below this video here, and I'll be happy to answer any questions as they come. Thanks, and enjoy.